All right, folks, here we got ships going by through the ship channel. The water, as you can see, looks amazing today in the channel. It also looks good out in the surf over here, which you guys can't see. So GoPro can't see very far, but the water looks amazing. on here so I might help him land it. Let's see what he has here. What you got there? It's no jackfish on 12 pound test. Oh man that's really light. <laughs> that's a small reel for that fish huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Got him. Woo. laughs> nice fish bro. Thanks dude. That on the what is that Rapala? Yeah. Sweet man. You saw him hit on top of the water? Yeah. There was like six or seven of them. Dang, that's awesome. Whoa. Yeah, nice release. Well, that was pretty crazy. I'm glad I got to help that guy out because that would have been tough to land a jack on your own like that, especially with 12 pound test. He wasn't actually going for jacks, but just happened to get one. But he's, what he was going for was Spanish mackerel. So apparently there's a lot of Spanish mackerel out here. But what I really wanted today was the Jack Cravel. Cause they're, oh, I gotta watch these rocks here actually, man. See that? Dude, there's no safe place, no safe place up here. Jacks are actually one of the first pelagic fish to move back on close to shore after the winter hits, you know? As soon as the water warms up, they'll be back here and... If you live in Florida, they catch jacks everywhere all the time. But in Texas, they're a little bit more of a prized fish here. And I think they're pretty fish and they pull like a truck, so... That's what we want to catch today. I'm working with the normal, normal setup here. Got a Saragossa 10,000 reel on a three ounce spoon. So we're just gonna be tossing this around. And really with this water out here, you never know what could be out in this green, clear water. So it's gonna be a good day, man. We'll see, we'll see what's the first fish we catch here. As a uh, saltwater jar spook, yeah. redhead. Did you upgrade those hooks so that it comes like that? No, it comes like that. All right, and I'm using the spoon, so I'm ripping across the water as fast as I can. Try to intercept them when they go by. Oh, oh shit! Oh my oh, god! Oh, go. Nice! Oh, no no he got it, yes! No way. Nice! No well, wow, they still oh, want it, dude. Oh, that was like 10 oh, swipes. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I got a bite there. There we go! Yeah, baby! Woo! Got him! Dang! He's in my hook! Strong one. Yeah, Vince yeah, yeah. You nice. got fire in your back? I got some in my pocket right here. I want to see the topwater explosion, but this is like an easy way to do it right here with the spoon. Man, he's coming in too fast almost. It's still really green. Go on the other side of here. Yes, sir. He's not going down. This is good. Oh, it's not too big. He's still going to be green. He's got a couple runs left, I bet. Got him. Yes. Oh, that is a good one, actually. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you, Young. That did not take 10 minutes, man. Look at that spoon fell out, too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Look at that sucker, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's a jack right there, folks. <laughs> my arms are shaking because I reeled that sucker in so fast, dude. That's a decent one, maybe about 20 pounds or so. But beautiful fish. First one I caught this year, so I'm so stoked, man. That was awesome. Just happy to not get broke off by these guys because that happens all the time. Let's let this guy go. All right, back where you came from, buddy. The shot put. <laughs> there he goes, yes! All right, guys, literally, I'm about to take a break right now because reeling that guy in that fast kind of wears you out just a little bit. 
so it's fun though people think it's not fun if you're forcing them in but it's more much more competitive more of a challenge and they swim off a lot better if you don't fight with them for 30 minutes or however long That's hooked up now too, you got one. All right folks, we're gonna land Pat's Jack Carvel right here. See if it's bigger than the one I caught. I don't know, but he's been working on it here for a minute, so we'll see. Oh, oh a it's a big one. A Holy moly. He's in pretty close, he's right there. Chill, <laughs> Casey. All right, he's coming in right there, perfect. Perfect. Oh man, that's heavy. Oh, <laughs> oh. Golly, man. <laughs> yeah, 30, 30 pounds. pounds. That's a beast of a jack right there. Oh man. Good night. Nice. They're swimming up, they're swimming up really good today. Sloppy like release, but I got it. You tired now? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you have to put Me some notch in your arms. I know, right? Alright, so this 30 pounds, Pat? 30 pounds? All right, I gotta beat that now. That drag is freaking tight, boy. Woo! Dang! Can't even pull the drag out. We got some good solid rocks here, though, for fighting fish. All right, folks, so the tactic today, the strategy, is I'm reeling this sucker fast. So I'm using a heavy spoon, but I want it to stay on top of the water. The first one I caught was down along the bottom, but that was more luck, I guess, because they've been just skimming the top of the water today. So that's how we're trying to target them right now. In the meanwhile, partaking in some old trapper. So good, man. If you don't think this is the best jetty fishing food or any kind of fishing, I'll fight you right now. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, boy. That's a good one. Oh, dude, this is a weird fighter, man. Look at the look at the bend in the rod. Dude. It's bouncing so much. I don't think this is a jack. Dude, what is oh, oh my god he dropped it dude. Golly. There's no bite marks on the leader. Oh we'll cast back out there and see if we can get him. I feel like some different kind of fish have maybe moved in here. Alright, we might see what this is now. It's a new school of fish that's moved in. <laughs> He hasn't pulled any drag yet, but he's heavy. Whatever it is. Oh, it pulled, dude. It pulled. All right, here we go. Redemption, baby. Get a little redemption here, hopefully. This is a strong one right here, man. I don't know if it's gonna beat 30 pounds, but it feels pretty good so far. All right, let's see. Man, he hasn't taken much drag at all yet. <laughs> Oh, he's a strong guy though. I think it's gonna be a jack. It's coming in easy. He's still green for sure. Oh, you got you got a net? Yeah. Sweet. The easiest way right there. Hopefully this guy stays on here. The last one spit the hook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hooked a couple like in the past 15 minutes, but yeah, this is about average right here. I think like. 15, 20 pounds. Next wave, next wave. Oh, we got off? Yeah. Dang it. Oh, the net? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, guys, well, I don't know if that showed up on the GoPro, but I had him so close in, and apparently he unhooked himself on the edge of the net. So, you know, that's okay. Um, the next one, I definitely want to try to land myself, though, just to do it, just because I think it's fun. Landing your own fish, and if you don't get the landing job right, you only have yourself to blame, so that's what we're going to do. But yeah, this is one of the most beautiful days we've had this whole year so far, so I want to stay out here for a couple more hours at least. I did forget my sunscreen, so my hands are burning pretty good and probably my legs too, but we're going to tough it out. Try to get one more fish on the boat before we leave, and that would be just the best day ever. There we go. Finally. <laughs> I 
It's a decent one. Hope this one stays pinned. The last three have gotten off. Oh, I got him. Thanks, though. Oh, he's bleeding. Dang it. Looks like he's going to be some more shark bait for our friends over here. They're keeping some jacks for their shark fishing. So this is going to be a donation. That's what sucks about fishing is don't always make it, man. Dang, still pulling drag. Got him. Man, perfect spot to land him right there. Woo! It's a better one right there. That's maybe about 25 pounds. The folks fishing next to me are keeping some for shark bait and this guy unfortunately got hooked bad. So that's just how fishing goes sometimes, but still a pretty fish and he'll go to some good guys that have been real nice right next to me, catching some fish also. Oh, you'll get good use. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. what I figured. Yeah, hell yeah. We don't waste anything. Y'all shark fishing tomorrow? We shark fish 24-7. <laughs>